last year between Christmas and New Year, I had the idea to develop my own fireworks and to do so in plain JavaScript. It was a fun little project and I learned a little about canvas objects in HTML and JavaScript and uh, developing your own particles. Yes, it was fun and uh, at the end it looked a little bit like this and I lost interest in it some days after New Year. So this year I thought, now I know Godot and maybe I try what I can do with Godot and uh, CPU particles. I chose CPU particles because I want to share this with my friends and they should be able to watch this on a website without a high-end video card for gaming. So to start I created this fountain uh, that sparkles just particles into the air and never stops with it. And then I tried to create some kind of explosion and I started to experiment a little bit with color and new variations and it looked a little bit like this. Next thing is I wanted to stop the repeating um, of the explosion so I made it a one shot and I created a timer that starts to reposition the explosion every three seconds and then uh, stops it and starts it again at a new position. This worked okay-ish, but it was okay for the start and I really wanted to experiment with word environment and create a glow effect on everything. And with the glow effect it really looks awesome. Although I, I didn't really do much right now. So what I learned from this is right before the word environment I was at a point where it didn't work very well and I was a little demotivated to go on uh, right now. I thought maybe tomorrow. But then I put in the word environment and the glow and it looks so much better and it's so much more polished that I automatically was motivated to go on and so I went on and I created a rocket. And with the rocket I got rid of all the code from before that didn't work well. The code from before used the same explosion over and over again. It just started the particle emitting. But this didn't work sometimes because the particles from before weren't finished emitting, I think. So I changed this. The new code creates a rocket instance every time the timer hits. And the timer tick is now 1.5 seconds. The rocket is programmed to fly up and when it hits the peak point then it creates an instance of explosion and queues free for itself. Explosion queues free after the particle source stopped emitting. So this is what the project is looking right now. I uploaded it to itch.io and this is like the first step. What I want to create is some kind of orchestration, what fireworks you want. Um, the fountain is still in the code and I will create other kinds of fireworks as well. And then I want to make it possible to say what kind of firework will start when. Thanks for watching. If you have suggestions how to go on with this, please put them in the comments. If you like to, please have a look at the GitHub repo or at the HIO page to see it for yourself. 
and I will keep on developing on this for the next days, at least until New Year. Okay, bye.